now to the tight ends. You know, it's obvious, you know, for fantasy football followers and, and, and participators out there, Rob Gronkowski, Jimmy Graham, Antonio Gates, I mean, these three are potential Hall of Famers, you know, if they can continue mm -hmm. to stay healthy for sure. But going to breakout stars, I'm a big Kyle Rudolph fan. And yeah. I don't know the Dame. Oh, talk about the impact that he's making in training camp so far. And, 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 uh, and can he put up Jimmy Graham-type numbers? I don't think so because I don't think that he is going to be the number one receiver, you know, in his offense. I don't think that the Vikings are going to throw as much as the Saints, and I don't think, you know, Ponder is going to be as good as Breeze. But all that said, Kyle Rudolph can be – he can be a fantasy starter this year. Um, he's going to – I think that he's going to be the number two guy there after uh, Percy Harvin. I think that that offense is going to be very – centered inside the numbers, you know, horizontal offense where the Vikings will try to get the football to their tight ends and to their slot receiver, just like the, the Patriots did last year. And will the effectiveness be there? No, but, but you know, not to that degree that, that they had in New England. But um, Kyle Rudolph is a Gronkowski sort of talent. Um, he he can, you know, he can use his body to, to you know, uh, block, box out defensive backs and linebackers, and he can run down the seam, man. And I think that he is he's healthy this year after not being healthy last year. I, I think he's going to have a breakout year. Wow. And uh, I wanted to, to also talk about now uh, disappointments at the tight end position. Uh, Brandon Pettigrew. They throw the ball a lot over there in Detroit, and you don't think he'll get the touches that um, the targets that that uh, that is expected. He just he doesn't have any big, big playability, and people like to talk up Brandon Pettigrew. He does play in that pass have, have heavy offense. He catches a lot of balls, but he averages you know nine ten yards a catch. Um, I think that he has been a little bit disappointing in, in terms of his red zone stats. He has never finished above eleventh in fantasy scoring among tight ends. And he, I, I think that he's just a guy who's a little bit overrated. He just, he's a big, slow, like, power forward. He, he's more like a center. Like, he, he really can't run. Um, he's like a post-up target. I, I, I wouldn't want him as my fantasy starter, that's for sure. Mm, and Jacob Tammy, uh, reuniting with Peyton Manning. You know, Manning likes to involve his tight ends. Uh, yeah, yep. People are talking about potentially putting up numbers. Not, not I mean, put being a poor man's Dallas Clark. But, but what's your beef with Tammy? Well, I liked Jacob Tammy when when Denver first signed him, and then the hype got out of control. And right now, his average draft position is the seventh round. I mean, I, I thought that he would be a guy who would be eleventh, twelfth round. You know, you get him as your your second tight end, and maybe he ends up starting for you. Um, even even when Jacob Tammy played extensively with Peyton Manning a couple years ago, he didn't show any run after catch ability. Um, I think that he plays a little bit slower than his time speed, which was actually in the four fives. I think coming out of Kentucky, um, but he he's just he's being overdrafted. I mean that th this is not what we expected. We didn't expect this guy to be considered a, a surefire fantasy starter by any stretch. I, I wouldn't consider him that. He's He's going to have to compete for targets with Joel Dreesen, Demarius Thomas, um, of course, Eric Decker. I don't mm -hmm. think that, that the, 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 new, the new Broncos offense is going to throw as much as Peyton Manning's offenses did in Indianapolis. At that seventh round ADP, I would avoid Jacob Tammy. Oh, yeah. No, no, that's too high because with, at the tight end position is a plethora of talent. Right. At the tight end position. I mean, I like to get my tight ends later, you know, later. And, and I, I like to stock up on, rece yeah, but, but on one receivers thing and to, running backs. One thing to keep in mind, Nabate, about doing that, man, is that Gronkowski and Graham, and I think that Gates, now healthy, has the potential to do this. Gronkowski and Graham doubled the weekly scoring of what guys like Tony Gonzalez were, were doing last year. I mean, they, they scored twice as many points per week. So I, I like to get an elite tight end. Oh, yeah, but if that elite tight end gets injured, you know, at least that's the thing. Like it's yeah. Well, I mean, Nabate, we we can't assume that these guys are going to get injured. But but also remember, like running backs, wide receivers, like being able to get as many of the top of those top guys have more depth and running back, wide receiver. I think maybe maybe you know in leagues with uh, wide receiver, tight end flexes, 
Absolutely. Yeah. You know, absolutely. But but I, I feel I feel what you're saying. But personally, me, I like to get defenses and tight ends towards the end.